It's Friday, everyone, and our last show in Nashville. Then, I know, then it's back to New York City. I wish I could express how I feel about that. Please don't let them take me. Can I just stay a little longer? I'll sleep on your couch. I'll just sleep on the couch. I won't take up a lot of room. I sound like Kat arguing with her husband. <laughs> but tonight, we're going out with a bang. Look who's here tonight. Yes, it's Miss Dana Perino. I don't know yeah. where my camera is. So glad, uh, really happy she made it here. Here she is arriving in Nashville. Such a queen. But with both of us here, I wonder what the five was like today. Now they're already in bed. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah, he does. Finally shaved. <laughs> By the way, Perino is Italian for the only person smaller than Gutfeld. <laughs> As you can see, Kat's here. Hooray for that. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you uh, made it to the uh, to the studio given last night's antics. You know, uh, she may be clumsy, but her opinions are as clear as the terror in her husband's eyes. <laughs> So before we get to the monologue, it's time for Greg's Seven Jokes. Number one, shocking news from the set of The View. Host Anna Navarro and Sonny Hostin tested positive for COVID. Even worse, The View tested positive for Joy Behar. <laughs> it's incurable. They still had to rush Kamala Harris uh, far away from the studio. It was pretty easy. They just told her it was the southern border. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Red meat. Dog, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter has joined the search for fugitive Brian Laundrie. Police consider his help crucial as they believe Laundrie may be hiding inside a mullet. <laughs> Good news. A New York Post headline reports McDonald's McRib is McBack. The bad news is, so is my McDiarrhea. <laughs> According to new research, scientists say three masks protect you the most. Well, I can't wait to hear the results of their condom study. <laughs> Same principle. Amazon unveiled a new household robot for 999 bucks. But if I'm paying a grand for a robot maid, I'd better be able to have sex with it. <laughs> They'll call it the Schwarzenegger. And number seven, U.S. airlines are now considering weight limits for passengers. In other news, Brian Stelter, I hope you like trains. <laughs> and that's Greg's seven jokes. All right. Back to the screaming hellscape called Manhattan. Did you hear, as kids get shot, junkies take over, and the elderly get mugged by gangs of thugs, also known as Democrats? The mayor has redefined policing as customer service. Literally the question from the NYPD to the people they serve, how did we do? Fundamental customer service idea. It's never existed previously in the NYPD, but it's going to be the future of the NYPD. Even the very fact that we're talking about customer service in the context of NYPD, that's revolutionary. It is. I am still wondering, how did a festering Lincoln log become mayor? What is it with Democrat leaders? Once they win, do they take a secret oath to destroy everything? You couldn't ruin a big city faster if you were Mothra. 
De Blasio has turned a once great city into a cesspool of chaos, which is a lot like Geraldo's hot tub. <laughs> and like, uh, and like Geraldo's hot tub, NYC is filled with half-naked crazy people, and it's prone to flooding. So the police is now customer service. That's great. It's no longer to protect and serve. It's let me help you return that defective garden hose to Home Depot. At least after you get mugged, you can stay on the line and update your car warranty. Meanwhile, the mugger has already been released and onto his next victim while you're on hold listening to air supply. So as crime explodes, the mayor wants community guides, community guides to greet visitors at city police stations. This is because he heard that the police were gruff and dismissive. dismissive. Well, Mayor, so are the muggers and the rapists. <laughs> Hell, you just described everybody who lives in New York. The only New Yorkers who aren't gruff are dead. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew Cuomo. <laughs> Gruffness, that's the problem here, not murder or assault. So now we've turned cops into Walmart greeters. That's the problem with cities run by leftists. They conflate law and order with brutality. So the solution is emasculation. Worse, we're not even calling crime, crime anymore. See, this isn't crime, it's reallocations of goods. Oh, look at this. Wow, hey, look at this. Insane. Insane, yo. Yo, this is the middle of the Ulta right now. Hmm, he has a future as, as a crime reporter. But, you know, the good news is if you play that video in reverse, it actually looks like these guys work there and are stocking the shelves. Oh, look at this. Wow. Insane. Insane, yo. Yo, this is the middle of the Ulta right now. Problem solved! And if we only had the police there to greet them and help them load the stuff into the stolen truck. <laughs> Yo, Sarge, mind grabbing the end of this flat screen? Meanwhile, as we excuse the criminals, who are the real threats? Parents. The National School Boards Association, which represents over 90,000 school officials, begged Joe Biden on Wednesday to protect them from angry mobs of parents upset over vaccine and mask mandates that are forced upon their kids saying the parents should be treated as domestic terrorism by extremist hate organizations. Yep, to these buffoons, a 28-year-old single mom looking out for her kids is the same as a one-eyed monster with a hook for a hand. So they implored Biden to mobilize the FBI and Secret Service to guard school officials. The sad part is he'll probably listen. Mm -hmm. The teachers' unions realize that the worst thing about COVID is parents realizing how bad the teachers' unions are. And now that parents are taking a more active role in protecting their kids from these idiots, they're now considered a threat. But these days, anyone who disagrees with these craven, self-righteous, sanctimonious a-holes can be considered a threat. Remember the soldier who spoke up about the Afghanistan debacle? He's still in the brig. And how about that U.S. Marine who rescued a baby in Kabul during that botched withdrawal? He's allegedly under investigation after he was invited up onto a stage by Donald Trump last week. I am the guy that uh, pulled the baby over the wall, and it's definitely probably one of the greatest things I've ever done in my entire life. Well, not so fast, Buster. Hopping up on that stage might have violated policy. Even though he was invited on the stage by a former president, still they treat him like he's John Hinckley. It's like the Biden administration is attempting the biggest purge since Tyrus went on that juice cleanse. <laughs> So you see what's happening here? We are criminalizing citizens and decriminalizing crime. It makes no sense, but maybe it's the only way Democrats can lower crime statistics. The jerks. Let's hear it. She's the nicest host at Fox News. And if you disagree, she'll stab you in the face. Yeah. America's Newsroom co-anchor and the Five Coast, Dana Burrito. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with your screen. That's just how he looks. <laughs> Writer and comedian Joe DeVito. She's like an armadillo, a tough exterior, but prone to curling up in a ball. Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. And finally, 
Exactly. His watch band is your waistband. My massive sidekick and the NWA World Television Champion, Tyrus. Yeah. Dana, welcome to Nashville. I know that you've you've never really been down south before. So yeah. That must be quite ex uh, quite an exciting uh, experience. You've been arrested numerous times yeah. for horrific crimes. This must be a relief that the cops will now be greeting more and cuffing less. It would be great. You know, I was thinking when they said that uh, they were gruff and dismissive. Yes. I mean, I've lived in New York 10 years. I've even become gruff <laughs> yes. and dismissive over that time. No, not really. I'm not. Um, I was thinking, though, this might be good news for those business owners that have homeless people sitting outside their shops for years on end. There's this one girl. Mm -hmm. She has been sitting outside the Juice Generation mm -hmm. for, like, I don't know, eight years. Right. And she's pregnant. Wow. For eight years. She's begging for two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I think that if you have customer service right. now, that maybe that maybe now the business owners can be helped along. Oh, my God. So maybe you're saying that this could be a good idea and that I, and that I might be wrong. Uh, I didn't see it like that. Why? Yeah. How did you see it? I saw it like they were implying that there's people that would talk to the cops but worried that they're rude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, there's I would snitch on my mob boss, but I heard the cops don't say please and thank you. Yes. <laughs> and, that, and also, again, it's like that, that liberal thing where they... They sniff around the edges of a huge problem, and then they say problem is solved by solving something that didn't need solving. I don't want a non-gruff cop, Cat. No, I, I, I think you're supposed to be gruff when you fight crime. Yeah. It'd always be weird and passive-aggressive if you weren't. Yes! <laughs> Wasn't the crime-fighting dog McGruff? Yeah. He didn't smile. No, he didn't smile at all. Why would you when you know you're going to be dead in 14 years? No. Oh. <laughs> Probably not a good joke. Joe! Joe Tivito. Thank you. Dead, dead dog to me. Thank yes, you. yes, yes. Well, it reminds me of your beard. <laughs> uh, I wish you could show that clip of de Blasio backwards so the <laughs> would go into his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, the idea that the police are supposed to do customer service, how, how exactly does that work with your, your fifth assault conviction to get a free ice cream sundae? Yes. Is that how they're going to do it? It's, it's amazing what he's done to New York City. It's like in the movies where you see the character throw the match over his shoulder and everything explodes behind him. That's Bill de Blasio every day when he leaves the house. He's yes. destroying New York City in some new and exciting way. That's like me when I, when I leave a restroom. <laughs> Please don't use a match. Yeah, I, 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 I risk the world when I light a match. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Probably should have thought about it and then gone to Tyrus. And said, hi, Tyrus. Hi, Greg. Love the hats. Funny joke, Greg. Yes. <laughs> you got the boots in the hat? Excuse me while I whip this out. Right. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of mad about this, because in my youth, when I was a knucklehead, it would have been nice. and like, freeze, get on the ground. I'd like to speak to a manager. <laughs> <Yeah. that. laughs> and the cop, oh. Sorry, sir, we'll be right back. You know, more time to get away. We've just lost our mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. Customer service. Protecting you from criminals is customer service. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kicking in the door and saving you is customer service. Yeah. yeah. If anyone needs customer service, it's our men and women in blue that need customer service <laughs> from politicians. And I would just like to say to the family of snakes that gave all they could, <laughs> thank you. That snake skin? It was. Yes. It's my skin now. <laughs> and one last point, because we didn't really talk about how the teachers group are oh, calling right. parents uh, potential terrorists. We are now, we are now entered the stage where we're weaponizing the potential threat. Have you noticed this? Yeah. Now everybody, anybody can be a potential threat. I'm a potential threat for even pointing this out. It's now like ever since they did this whole like there's this invisible terrorist threat, domestic threat. Now anybody can be finger can be fingered, and not in a good way. Oh God. <laughs> well, no, I have good a... one to end on, Greg. Thank yeah, you. Look, look, as a as a parent, this is a double-edged sword. They cry when we don't get involved in our kids' school. Then when we get involved, <gasps> how dare you yes. question what I'm going on? You're a terrorist if you call me out. Yeah. Yes. You're a terrorist if you don't agree with me. You're a terrorist if you hold me accountable. 
Mm-hmm. Well, just I'll change this. What, what's the new hat terrorists wear these days? Get me one. <laughs> yeah. They want to use the Patriot Act yeah. to go after United States citizens. I mean, how, how do you think this ends? That doesn't end well. Right. But this segment ended well. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.